All right, all right. How we doing this fine day? What it do, ladies and gentlemen? I want to talk about something that just happened to me just now. Uh, keep it firm when you're pricing. You know, we I just went and looked at a job, and uh, you know, you know, listening to the customer, and um, first thing he said to me was that he uh, he paid the other guy uh. A hundred dollars, uh, a cut, or a hundred dollars to do the job, and um, right off the bat, it threw me a flag because my 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 thing is this: that's the other guy, that's not me. So we go looking at everything, and um. So I go look and I'm like looking at the property. It's a commercial property slash homeowners. So it's like the guy he got two businesses. He live he 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 runs his business on one side, and he runs he lives on the other side of the building. And I was thinking to myself like, okay, dude, like you're gonna that's what the other guy charged you. I'm not gonna charge you that because at first I was thinking that it would just one one side a lot and then he like oh no 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 it goes all the way to the fence I was like oh I said and you got a ditch he was like yeah all that you know I said hmm he said but I also pay the guy all year round I'm like okay what I want to talk to you got y'all new guys and ladies that's coming in this game stand on your prices don't let somebody come and convince you to take a cut. When we go to these stores and we want a loaf of bread or we want um, milk, these stores do not hold on their pricing. So what I'm saying to you guys, don't you let nobody convince you to take a pay cut on your price. Know your worth. Now, maybe if I wouldn't have knew what I knew now I probably would have done the job because I was like oh I just want it but now I've been in the business for a little while and I understand this type of work people out here will literally work you to crap and pay you nickels because they want it done and they want it done now so to all my new guys and ladies that are coming in the game don't and I repeat don't you dare ball fight on your pricing. If you want to charge that person that much, charge them. There's only two things going to happen. Three things. You get the job, you bang it out, you do an excellent job on it. Two, you don't get the job. That's And the third one, the last one of it all, you get paid for your work. So, that's it. That's simple. That's how it is in business. That's why... I always tell my people that like getting in the game. I just purchased two tires, two weed eaters, and I spun almost eight hundred dollars for that. And those people didn't cut me no deal. So what I'm saying to you is this: Don't let nobody convince you to do a pay cut on your on your worth. If that's what you're going to charge them, charge them. Because at the end of the day, they're going to take your work or they're not.